Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's coverage of VMware Explore 2022, formerly VMworld. We've been covering this event since 2010. I'm with Dave Nicholson, my co-host. We've got two sets here, live for three days, breaking down all the action, what's going on in the news, what announcements, what are the partners doing. You got the VMware execs, you got the customers, and you got the partner ecosystem, which is booming. We got Dar Darren Wollner, Senior Director of Product Management at Lumen. Sasse and SD-WAN, in the midst of it all, the internet is SD-WAN, this is all rocking. Welcome to theCUBE, thanks for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me guys, I really appreciate being here. Well, we know the name change, Lumen from CenturyLink, you guys have been on many times on theCUBE, talking about you know, the connective tissue, you got infrastructure, platform, now SaaS, cloud's changing, we're calling it super cloud, some people call it mic, 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 multi-cloud, yeah. but the game is still the same. <laughs> you got an on-premise environment, you got edge, could be a building, and you got now cloud native hyperscale cloud players. Now all connecting, mm -hmm. kind of like the old branch office days, connect here. So a lot of the same kind of concepts, but done differently. Give us the quick update from Lumen. What are you guys seeing? What are some of the big trends? So the quick update from Lumen is that, you know, we've just launched a new service called Sassy that we're extremely excited about. And this new service from Lumen takes advantage of a lot of the infrastructure that you just mentioned. So uh, we're able to take advantage of our Cloud Edge 60 plus nodes to um, you know, help customers uh, move their applications closer to where they're doing business, um, major performance boost. So even though all these customers want to move the workloads to the cloud um, to improve their efficiency, improve their performance, we are um, acting quickly to make sure that that experience is a positive one. So as things are, are evolving and changing, so is Lumen, and we're pushing towards that evolution to technology. Take a minute to explain, just kind of set the table, the situation of how you guys relate to your customers. You mentioned SaaS, which is a service I want to get into. Okay, got connectivity. Yeah. What are some of the use cases? Where does SASE fit in? What is the use case with the customers? Where are you seeing the most traction? And, and you, you need to define SASE. Sure. It's always a party foul to use an acronym without okay. defining it Absolutely. immediately after the first time you used it, so. Okay, so I, I have to recover <laughs> from that foul. So, uh, absolutely, so, so SASE, you know, we view SASE as um, a, a convergence of network and security. And what we're doing with SASE is that we're delivering this package of services that are cloud-based, that customers can pick and choose whichever ones they want. And that's Secure Access Service Edge, and uh, that is um, what, we're, what we're very excited to talk about. I mean, basically today. it's connectivity, it's application security, it's edge, so it's so yep. end-to-end, so we, we, all, we, we all get the acronym. Um, kind of nice, nice play there. Um, but when reality comes to the customer, what is the use case that you guys Great are seeing question. the most on? Lift and shift I get, is it lift and shift and then cloud native to on-prem? What are some of the things specifically that you guys are so selling into? Specifically what we're seeing is we're seeing that customers, they want to evolve their networks and move to cloud environments, mm -hmm. but not everybody's ready to do it all at the same time. So some of the, you know, that's part of the reason why SASE is, is, is become so popular right now, because we're enabling customers to pick and choose the order in which they want to move to cloud-enabled services, and uh, you know, we're allowing them to choose one or choose them all. And from a use case perspective, um, you know, as we've just gone through uh, COVID, and everybody knows work from home has uh, uh, become extremely important way of doing business, and, and that we want to give that No one would have forecasted 100% <laughs> work from home, VPN, <laughs> a little bit under provisioned. <laughs> so again, so, shock to the system. This is- It but, is, but it, it is, for, it is. It was, but yeah. you know, with a solution like this, we're able to provide our customers with flexibility to run their businesses any way they want. Yeah. They want to be premise-based, we can support them. They want to be remote, we could support them. Um, that, that is a huge, uh, use case right now. I mean, I mean, all joking aside, the forcing function, I mean, necessity is the mother of invention and the yeah. pandemic really kind of changed the game. How do you guys see security evolving? Because as you look at security, you got Fortinet out there, I know you guys have a relationship with them, you got VMware, mm -hmm. there's a lot of different tools and platforms emerging. Yeah. We hear every CISO we talk to is like, hey, I want to take my 35 tools down to 24 yep. and more platforms and much more defensibility, not just you know, yeah. point security. How do you, uh, how do you discuss that with customers around the security conversation. So we're, we're finding that our customers want a little bit more simplicity. You had mentioned that they want to you know, bring down uh, the, the, their numbers to something that's a little bit more manageable. 
with the service that we've just launched, we have single vendor solutions, and um, you know we're looking to simplify that path for the customer. And uh, it, it's about simplicity, but it's also about optionality. We want to make sure that we can say yes to our customers and whatever path that they want to go to from a software perspective, we're able to support them and the flexibility of our platform allows that to happen. You know, networking, Dave, we always talk about the three, the, the three major pillars, networking, compute, storage. Yeah. They never go away. It's no. always going around. Networking is now front and center, especially with the abstractions going on. You're starting to see super cloud discussions. You see companies buying more cloud native, like with AWS, to take that CapEx off but now are putting all that energy into modern application development, mm -hmm. which now puts pressure on, okay, well, what about network policies? Yeah. So networking is into the fold again. It's always been there, but it never left, but it's becoming different. How do you see the different conversations happening with the network component with cloud native trend that we're seeing here? Well, I think the, the network component is, is, is really table stakes. And what's happening is, um, you know, as, everybody is interested in moving to the cloud. Services are becoming instant, right, digitized. But you have the network that, that customers are still looking for that you know, uh, level of support from a company like Lumen and, and they know that we have a vast infrastructure. So the network conversation doesn't go away, it just evolves. What's happening is customers want to understand how they can better secure those networks. And then what, what's also happening is people want to use any device anywhere, anytime. So the conversation about the network is important, but when you think about security, it's starting to move away from the network. It already has. There's right? no more perimeter. Exactly. So we need to be able to secure our customers wherever they are, however they want to use their devices. And, and for us, that path was SaaS. So go into a little more depth in terms of how this is deployed. What is this thing that is sassy? Absolutely. Is this, is this you know, software living on the edge on people's servers? Does it include some sort of physical components and wizardry? Well, <laughs> give us, you know, peel, peel back. Yeah, the is it, well, it self-service, sure. is yeah. it installable, does it need so, professional services? So, so there is a little bit of wizardry and, and what we put together is really an awesome digital platform where customers have the ability to go into the Lumen marketplace and in five simple steps, purchase a SASE solution based on a few discrete choices that they need to make. And once they've provisioned that, uh, once they've purchased that service, now they have those entitlements. We've created an all new application from the ground up called the Lumen SASE Manager where they're able to go in, take their entitlements, design, build, manage their network. Um, so the customer can go through this journey and it's relatively quick and they have tons of flexibility to do that. However, if a customer prefers a seller-led journey, we're still going to help them do that as well. So really, the spirit of SASE for us was to give ultimate flexibility to the customer, consume exactly what you want, consume it the way you want to, but the simplicity factor with our digital approach, I think is, is something that, that we feel is pretty game-changing. So when one of those customers, let's say you have a campaign, thank you, SASE. <laughs> what are those customers thanking you for? Give me an example of, of, of what a delighted customer would point to as, I'm really glad we made the decision to do this with Lumen. Yeah. Why, why? why, why would they be happy? Why would they be happy? Because the, the advantage of doing this with Lumen is not only that simplified digital approach, but we're, we're selling them essentially a cookie, right? And that cookie has two layers and it has, you know, cream filling. And, and what, what's going on is Tastes the infrastructure. Great. Definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely, but everybody has different tastes, and we'll get to that in a second. But the top layer is the infrastructure that Lumen provides. Yeah. And we have a vast infrastructure, uh, 450,000 you know, route miles of fiber, um, 60 plus uh, cloud edge nodes um, to bring compute closer to the customer. So that's a very important layer that we're uh, providing. And then the other layer of the cookie is the management, right? Different customers have different needs. Not every business looks alike. So you're going to have some uh, businesses who have invested in their security apparatus and they may not need enough, as much help from us. So we're offering customers different levels of a managed service wrapper so they can buy exactly what they need, no more, no less. So let's get to the cream filling. That's, you know, everybody <laughs> likes the cream filling but not everybody likes the same kind. Every time you go down the supermarket aisle and you look at uh, you know, your favorite uh, uh, cream cookie, 
there's different types of uh, flavors uh, that are um, introduced from time to time. So what we want to do is to be able to say yes to our customers and give them as much variety as the cream flavors as possible. And that's where the software comes in. If you have you know, dedicated a lot of expertise to a certain platform, we want to be able to support that software platform. And I think the flexibility of the Lumen platform and the flexibility of Lumen Sassy Solutions allows us to give that flexibility so back to the customer. you're putting that wizardry at the edge so the customer's environment, whatever they have, yeah. flexes with the connectivity. It does, yeah. That's what you're getting at. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you need, we need the network. I mean, yep. everybody wants more bandwidth. It's not going Come away. On. It's not I going mean, away. Faster, faster, faster. That's you need right. more bandwidth. That's right. Um, but it's be smarter. But that also implements some potential overhead. Yep. So you got to understand the end-to-end. -end. That's where I think the SD-WIN, interesting tie-in comes in. How do you talk to customers about that piece? Is it simply, you can have your cake and eat it too, and you lose weight with Lumen? I mean, it's like, well, <laughs> that's, I stole that line from Victoria from VMware. <laughs> I got well, my cake and eat it too, and I want to lose weight. I mean, wouldn't that be a wonderful world if we can do that, but uh, <laughs> have <laughs> our cake and lose weight. got the fillings, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I want to make sure. Uh, yeah. but, but when it comes to SD-WAN, especially, uh, SD especially under our SASE umbrella, what we're looking to do is, is, is go down the road of simplicity and try to work out the amount of compute that a customer needs and the amount of storage, um, sorry, not storage, the amount of throughput that a customer needs. And we're getting these, these customers to make these decisions. You know, they, they know what they have, they know what they want to run. We will consult with them, whether they go through our digital experience, whether they go through our seller-led experience, there's always off-ramps and, and a way to talk to a human being and, and make choices. So we're giving the customer enough information to make a, uh, an informed decision and we're here to support them if they need so more you're customer centric, you guys are good there. I mean, that's solid, got a great track record there. I guess the question, my final two questions are, sure. one, how do I consume, I'm the customer, how do I consume? And what's on the roadmap going forward? I mean, look at the product management, you get the keys to the kingdom on the roadmap and yeah. you can share if you want, but maybe you can't say or some things, but what's the, consumption model, where do I find that, is it marketplace, is it yeah. through channel partners and service providers, and then what's on the roadmap? Sure, absolutely. So, um, you can consume this on uh, .com, through the Lumen marketplace, uh, you could interact with the learn and the buy experience, and then once you've gone through that experience, you're going to consume it through the SASE manager. That's how you're going to use and interact with the service. That's how you're going to consume it. And then you're going to continue to utilize the SASE manager for reporting, access to portals, so forth and so on. You need to make a change to your service? Not a problem, it's simple. You go back into the SASE manager, you add more seats to your ZTNA solution. You uh, want to add another site? You go back into the SASE manager, you could purchase another site. We'll take care of all of it. Everything is automated. If you're a VMware customer, what's in it for them? Uh, this is great for <laughs> VMware. It's the, it's the automation of the complete security stack, and it's the automation of uh, the SD-WAN portion, yeah. and uh, you know, we think that this total package is something that's going to be very appealing to VMware uh, fans, VMware customers, and most importantly, when a VMware customer comes to us and says, I have a ton of experience with VMware and I don't want to move away from it, but I can really use the management and the infrastructure that you yeah. guys have, I'm able to say yes. Yeah. And then you got the ARIA coming out now, and you got the cross cloud, going to be very That's right. interesting. That's right. Okay, what's on the roadmap? Tell us what's the secret sauce. Reveal some secrets. Reveal some <laughs> secrets. I don't know, there's a lot of people They're watching. shaking their head over there. <laughs> don't say it, They're don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of exciting things on the roadmap. I, I will tell you this, because I think it's very important. The way we are developing services today has shifted. No longer um, uh, can companies afford to roll out one product a year and wait. It takes you a year to roll that product out, and it's stale by the time it comes out, and then it takes you another year to fix it. We have moved to continuous development cycles. Um, we are uh, keeping track of what's going on in the market, what, what the hot trends are, what the hot services are, and as SASE continues to evolve, we will be able to quickly evolve. So while we do have some ideas of where we want to go on the roadmap, yeah, and yeah. I'm sure they're shaking their heads over there, um, <laughs> what, what I love is yeah. we ha now have the ability to listen to what our customers want and act quickly. Yeah, it's all, I call it the holy trinity. Network, storage, compute, 
get that software intelligence at the edge, which is going to be really popular. You guys are in a really perfect position. Thanks for coming on. Thank you Darren, so much. Sharon on theCUBE. Okay, you. Darren's here on theCUBE. Breaking it down for Lumen, formerly CenturyLink, rebranded a few years ago. You know, connectivity is the key. You still got to connect network, compute, storage, and you got the data center now, the cloud, hybrid, now multi-cloud. This is the SuperCube, covering SuperCloud here at VMware Explore 2022. We'll be right back after this short break.